Welcome to Him Church, where we are connecting the heart of man to the heart of God, with Drs. Jerome and Tanya Taylor. Hello, everyone. This is Bishop Jerome A. Taylor, and thank you for tuning in to the Connecting the World to Him broadcast. I pray that these broadcasts have been a tremendous blessing to you and your family's life. I want to thank my Me TV family for tuning in every Monday at 3.30 p.m. Hey, look, get on the phone. Call someone, tag someone, email, hashtag, do all those social media things, and let them know that Connecting the World to Him broadcast is on the air. Look, sit back and relax because we're getting ready to go to a service that's already in progress. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, 1005. Come on, let's worship. Hands extended to Abba Father, the only true God. Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Kadesh, Jehovah Nisi, thank you, Father, 1006, we bless you, we honor you, we bow before you, 1007, we bow down before you, Father, we bless your holy name, 1008, you alone receive all praise, all worship, all adoration. 1009, you alone, God, receive today from this your people. 1010, come on, two more seconds. We bless you and honor you. Hands extended real high to Daddy. We honor you, Father. Hands and arms stretched out wide to the only God, our Savior, to the only wise God. Father, we bless you. 1011, we honor your presence. Come in here today, Father, do only as you can. Speak through this, your vessel. I take the backstage as you posture yourself in the center to minister life to your people today. 1,012. Come on, let's give God a big hand clap of praise. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah, come on. Come on, praise him. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. Now give somebody a hug that you didn't come here with. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody you didn't come here with. Amen. We are continuing the teaching. Hopefully this will make you happy. We're t- continuing the teaching. Uh, of course, we've been on the uh, fire series all year long, and I'm very excited about that, about the fire series. Some amazing, uh, amazing things that happen here at the heart, the Hymn Church. But we're on fire understanding heaven and hell. So today, in our time together, hopefully I'll be able to get past five points with you all because I really want to get into the heaven portion of it next week. I have two more weeks to teach, two Tuesdays, and I think, well, at least one Tuesday, to two Tuesdays, to two Sundays to teach on the heaven part. We want you to have clarity about understanding uh, the revelation of hell. Now, I, I, I want to share with you some things I shared with the first service. Um, we have to stay focused in this hour. Say, stay focused. Uh, the scripture talks about, uh, in Matthew 6, seek ye first the kingdom of God, which is God's way of doing things, and his righteousness, and all these things will be what? Never make three one, never make two one, but always keep one one. One will never be three, one will always be one. Your number one spot in this life, as a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, is to seek first what? The kingdom of God, which is simply God's way of doing things. Amen. Reading your Bible, coming to church, come on, loving, loving people that are unlovable. Amen. Got it? Amen. Caring for people that are unlovable, reaching out to people that are unlovable. Come on. Going to work to be the best person you can be on the job, Amen. even when everybody else is slacking off. Right? You're working as unto the Lord. Nobody can ever take advantage of you because you're working as unto the Lord. Come on now. Loving your brothers and sisters and so on and so forth. Loving your husbands, loving your wives. Come on. Anybody can cheat. It don't take no effort to cheat. (laughs) Anybody can cheat. That's, that's, That's easy. But it takes somebody to hold your course and to stay focused on one woman. 
Even if she's giving you three or five kids and the dynamics of her beautiful physique has changed. She's always that beautiful woman to you. Should be. Come on, she gave up her life almost three times, four times, my wife, three times on the table for me, four. We had four kids, one died. And, uh, but I'm grateful, amen, no matter what. Amen. Got it? Staying faithful to that one woman, always having desire for that one woman, but asking God, seek ye first the kingdom. Let my love for you overflow to my overflow to everybody else. Amen. And when you get that thing out of proportion or you mess that up, everything else in life is going to become great. You're going to be chasing the things while le- losing your posture in the kingdom to put him first and his righteousness and everything else is going to be uh, kind of messed up for you and backwards. <clears throat> you'll be chasing things and that's going to be out of order and, and see and let me let me share why i'm sharing this because if you get the number three spot or number one spot and number three then the devil may be very well be on his way to taking you to hell that's right. his whole goal is to get you distracted yeah. from doing god's will yeah. and you can never get weary another scripture be not weary and well doing for in due season you reap if you faint not another scripture says who did be with you who got you off track what circumstance got you off track? Was it your wife? Was it your husband? Was it your job? Your new job that you blessed God for, that we fasted and prayed for you to get. Now you don't come to church. Was it your monies? Was it your new car, your new home in Myrtle Beach? Now you want to be on the beach more than you want to be in the house of the Lord? I'm just saying. Was it, come on, what was it that got you distracted? Was it the football games? And Bishop going to try to get you out of here by one, so you can look at it. I'm going to try in Jesus' name, because that's my promise to you and me, amen. What, do, what, what causes people to get distracted from seeking the kingdom? Why people stop coming to church, stop loving, stop being on fire? And the devil likes that because you understand you're two, three steps away from being in hell. Amen. amen. And of course, what qualifies people to go to hell is that they reject a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. See, People may not believe that church is very important to the Lord. It ain't important to just the pastor. I'm here by assignment like you are here by assignment by the Lord. But the Lord knows this is your feeling station. Your time to be refreshed. Your time to be renewed. Come on. Your time to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is your time for you to get you together. Now people say, I got to go get my mind right. You got you to smoke a blunt to do that. You got to drink a drink to get your mind right. You come in, in the presence of God to, so he can get your thinking right. For 40 minutes, two hours, whatever the case may be, and you go into your community, your world. Come on. I, I like leaving church, going home, and having a dinner. The dinner just tastes good when I've been to church. Amen. The football game, even my team win or lose, it just it feels better. <laughs> but it feels bad when you done skipped out on God and your team loses still. <laughs> and you still got Monday morning to face with all kind of troubles, you know, <laughs> that you should have went to church and prayed to the Lord about. Can we get a healthy amen or what, what or something? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we got to keep first things first. Keep first things first. Some of you are pursuing your dreams. I'm, I'm there. I'm like, Lord, I'm, I'm an hour with my wife and I. Like, we got 20 books to write before, uh, when we're supposed to write this, 20 books within the next five years. Well, 18 more. We already got the second one. should be out by December. It's called The GPS Your Marriage. You definitely want to get that. That's going to be some, that's going to set marriages on fire all around the country. I believe that by the grace of God. I believe it's going to be a number one seller. It's about relationships. Before you get married, why you're married. If you're thinking about her or him, you want to get this book. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be some good stuff, some raw stuff we're talking about. I'm putting my private, my private life out there on the line. Bless God. But I, I know to help somebody. Amen. Amen. And it's okay. It's okay. I want to, I want to be a blessing to couples so that, that marriages can succeed. If God puts you all together, then you know, and then you know, we want to make sure that we can succeed in marriages because I believe strong marriages make strong churches. And. Uh, Let's just be 100. Oh, excuse me. Let's be 400. Let's not be talking about our wives and our girlfriends and especially wives and husbands because, you know, when you talk about them, you marry them. Amen. And they are a reflection of your IQ. Amen. So when you're calling him smart, that's good. You're calling him dumb, he's a reflection of your IQ. You're calling her dumb and stupid and did 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 she is a reflection of your IQ. You chose her. So calm down. <laughs> you chose him or her. Yeah, I ain't about to, I ain't about to beat myself up. I'm definitely about to, to put my queen down who God put in my life. 
and don't want my prayers hindered. Amen. You, you, some of your prayers are hitting the ceiling. Boom, just coming back, hitting you on the head, and you wonder why you got that migraine. <laughs> I got a migraine today. Well, your prayers keep hitting you in the forehead because <laughs> you're praying, and God ain't hearing you because you're treating his daughter wrong. Or vice versa, you're doing right by that man. Got it? Treating each other bad. Married is for grown folk. Amen. Children need not apply. Amen. Are you tired of being tired? Feeling drained of life? My friends, you don't have to feel this way. You can receive your spiritual booster shot today with the 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes written by Dr. Jerome A. Taylor. Boost each day with powerful inspiration. The 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes offers uplifting thoughts for your mind and truth for your heart with an original quote and a scripture reference 365 days a year. This daily devotional is guaranteed to fill your mind with positive thoughts to lift your spirit, affirm your faith, and keep your life moving toward your destiny. The 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes, written by Dr. Jerome A. Taylor. Get your copy today. Available on paperback, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Ingram Book Company, Baker and Taylor, Albrecht, abooks.com, half.com, Powell's Books, Books a Million, C I P A, I B P A, Span. Also available on all digital downloads, ebook and iBook, Kindle, and so much more. The 365 Daily Inspirational Quotes. Get your copy today. First is here the groundbreaking debut album from Tanya Aiken Taylor. Available now on digital download from Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, and more. Check your local stores. Tanya Aiken Taylor. Reach out and touch her at www.tanyaataylor.com. That's www.tanyaataylor.com. First, the debut album from Tanya Aiken Taylor. Get your copy today. You are welcome to attend any and all of our services. Sunday morning fast food services, 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning, 11 a.m. worship experience. Tuesday night Bible experience, 7.30 p.m. Thursday corporate prayer, 7 to 8 p.m. We would love to see you here. Stay connected to Me TV. You're watching the right people at the right time in the right place right here on me tv connecting the heart of man to the heart of god that's what we're doing at heart to heart international ministries with the bishop j a taylor and dr t a taylor so stay right here stay connected because we're connecting the heart of man to the heart of god and we want to see you here you are welcome to attend any in all of our services Sunday morning fast food services, 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning, 11 a.m. worship experience. Tuesday night Bible experience, 7.30 p.m. Thursday corporate prayer, 7 to 8 p.m. We would love to see you here. Number one, we're talking about the truths about hell. Number one, I gave you this on Tuesday? No, Sunday. Okay, last Sunday. All right, so hell, we know that was initially, this is point one, it was initially prepared for the devil and his fallen angels. That's Matthew 25 and 41. If you want to bless yourself, grace, bless your eyes with this information, you would turn over there to Matthew 25, 41. So here we learn in Scripture that when God initially created the human, well, uh, created humankind, mankind, he did not create us, excuse me, to go to hell. Because of our uh, uh, disobedience, Adam disobedience, who committed high treason against God, they called the first, they call Adam, the first Adam, Jesus is referred or referenced to the second Adam. First Adam messed it up, second Adam came to make it right. Through the second Adam, Jesus Christ, we accept a personal relationship with him, we get back on track, now we get to avoid hell. We get to purchase some fire insurance, do the salvation experience, and escape hell. He went there for us. He went down, of course, to take care of some business in hell. And we'll see that here momentarily, what he went to, to take care of. But anyway, um, 
hell was not created for humans. Let's, let's do verse 41. If you need a Bible, please raise your hands. Us will assist you. Verse 41 says, Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for who? The devil and his angels. Now, when it says the devil and his angels, these angels, it was a third. The scripture talks about there was a third of the angels that fell with as Satan, also known as Satan, also known as the dragon, the serpent, the old serpent, uh, Lucifer, also the same person here, talking about the devil. So as Satan took a third of the angels with him when he fell, Satan. And, uh, and the scripture says here that hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. Now look up real quick. When he created... I want you to hit this. I hit this on some weeks ago. When God created you and I, he created us with an eternal instinct. In other words, when God created man in his own image, right, made a body on the earth out of the clay, put the brain inside of him, then breathed the breath of life, man became a living soul, his faculties, his, his full hundred begin to operate. That's why he told me to go name the animals to make sure it was operating correctly. Whatever Adam called them, that's what they were. He also named Eve, woman. That was a beautiful thing. She shall be called woe man, womb man, womb man, womb man, womb man. If you don't have a womb man. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let that, I'm, I'm going to put a pen right there. So, but when he created you, there was a part of him that was in you that was eternal. The spirit of the man. Got it? That's why a human spirit cannot die. Man is made of three, three parts. Spirit, soul, and a physical body. Spirit, soul, and a, you're more spiritual than you are natural. You are a spirit being having a human experience. So you think you're, you think you're a human being having a spiritual spirit. You're a spirit being having a human experience. And we, unfortunately, we gravitate to the natural more than we to the spirit. The scripture talks a lot about the spiritual things. We, we have the ability to live in two worlds simultaneously, spiritual and natural. Animals can't do that, but we can. Now, when we go to heaven, we'll talk about that next week. There are animals in heaven. Because horses coming out of the sky when Jesus rides back on that white horse. So animals are in heaven. And be mindful how you treat as animals. Scripture talks about that. He created them so you can't be beating them and doing them all kind of, you ain't going to take them to the vet and you're going to be feeding them all kind of table food and warming them up. Ain't no sense having them, you're going to treat them right. <laughs> they eat dog food, worm, dog just warmed up. Instead of you getting the right food, if you can't afford the dog, don't, don't get the dog. Because you will go to jail messing with God's animals. Play with it if you want to. Let that go. That ain't go too good. Okay, so, so, so here it is. The part of God that, that created you was spirit. A spirit does not die. When he created Adam, he created him to live in the Garden of Eden. We learned that. How Satan was already in the Garden. We learned that in Ezekiel that Satan was already in the Garden before, Adam, before uh, God created Adam and Eve. I remember we showed the scripture that, right? Satan was in the Eve of Garden. The Eve of Garden and uh, the Garden of Eden. The same difference before uh, the fall of Adam. God told Adam not to go over in this particular area because he knew as Satan was already over there. When God tell you don't go somewhere, he already know who over there. Amen. Don't go over here today. Don't go to that club tonight. Yes. Don't go to this store today. Don't take this exit today. And we're having a battle with God. I always take this. I always go there. This is my favorite spot. Now, now, you, got, now you got waxing ears because you can't hear what God. You heard now you're going to be like Jonah, can you hear me now? Until something happens, we get swallowed by the well, now you can hear him clearly. <laughs> we get in a dilemma, now we can hear the Lord clearly. Verizon didn't cre create that saying God did. Can you hear me now? <laughs> that came from the scripture. Jonah, can you hear me now? Yes, Lord, I hear you very well now, Lord. Yay, Lord, yay, Lord, whatever you want me to do. Now the, now the, now the whale got to go out his way, swallow Jonah because he's a track star, running from God, swallow Jonah, spit him out somewhere. Come on. 
Don't worry about it. Number two. So, so, so initially prepare for the devil and his angels. All right, number two. Y'all ready for number two? Okay, number two was God alone has the power to cast someone into hell. Listen to what I'm saying. God alone has the power to cast someone into hell. Luke 12, 4 and 5. Notice I didn't say he has the power to send somebody to hell. He doesn't have the power to send you to hell because you're the only one that has that power. Amen. God does not override the human will. He gave you a will. You are, you are a spirit being having a human experience and you are a free moral agent, which means you have the right to choose. The angels also have choices. We will judge them when we stand before God. The Bible says that we, don't you know that we're going to judge the angels? The angels have a will just like we do, but they will be judged. Now, the other thing about this thing with angels, if the angels mess up and sin, they go into hell. They don't get a chance to repent. Amen. Amen. Ooh, let me talk to this section. See, that's why I'm happy he made us humans and not angels, because all of us will be on our way to hell. Yes, you, you, including me, because all have sinned. And follow what? Sort of, but see, the angels look at us and say, I wish I was a human. Because y'all have chance. I can't mess up. If I mess up, I'm getting locked up in hell. Mm. And y'all going to stand and judge me in heaven of how I served y'all. And based on what you say, how I served y'all is going to be my destination. Amen. Angels watching us, but they're going to get judged by us. They don't judge us. We judge them. So I'm happy he made us humans. They lust and say, God, what is man? David said it best. What is man that you're mindful of him? You made him a little lower than the angels. But he has a chance to repent. He has a chance to the salvation. The shed blood of Jesus Christ covers them when they mess up. They get to mess up multiple times and they get to be covered multiple times. Aren't you happy for the shed blood of Jesus Christ? That's why, come on, give God a hand clap. That's why we're going to get judged very heavenly, heavy, heavily, right, for not accepting the plan of salvation. So here it is. God does not send people to hell, but he has the power to cast you into hell. We send ourselves to hell by rejecting the plan of God, the plan of salvation that he's provided through the second Adam. Can we get an Amen. Let's go here. You should be there, right? We're at uh, Luke 12. Y'all, y'all, am I boring, y'all? Okay, I just want to make sure, y'all. Okay, I just want to make sure. Let me out. Stop and sit my lap and sit down. We can go home. I don't want to bore nobody. <laughs> Luke 12. Look at verse number 4. It says, uh, Luke 12, 4, right? That's what I want. It says, I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, have no more that they can do. Verse 5, but I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, what? Fear him. Look up. So the scripture is telling us, and sometimes we get freaked out about bodily injury, like somebody can kill us with a gun and all that. They can only stop the physical body, but they can't stop the spirit. They can't, they, they really can't. Wow, I pray that that word ministered life to right where you are. You know, there's times where we just need a word from the Lord, and I pray that that lesson ministered to you right where you are. Hey, look, we never want to leave our broadcast without giving you an opportunity to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Hey, look, if you would bow your heads right where you are right now and repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear God in heaven, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner, and I acknowledge that I'm in need of a Savior. I repent of all my sins, and I accept Jesus Christ into my heart as Lord and Savior. I am sincere with this prayer, and this is my request to the Heavenly Father. I accept him into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Hey, look, if you prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God. The heaven is applauding you. We are applauding you for the newfound relationship that you found in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm excited. There should be uh, information at the bottom of your screen, a website, www.hymncity.org. 
If you would text or hit us up, email us, or let us know that you just accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to send you out some free information about this newfound relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, congratulations, and again, welcome to the family of God. So we never want to leave our broadcast without, again, giving you a shout-out. Hey, look, remember these words from Acts chapter 17, verse number 28. For him we live and move and have our very being. And by the way, it's all about him. Good afternoon, Me TV family and friends, and thank you for tuning in. You asked, how can you partner with Heart to Heart International Ministries? And I have an answer. You can text HHIM to 54244 right here on the grounds of Heart to Heart International Ministries. We have done a free summer camp for three weeks where parents had an outlet. And now our basketball court where the youth will have an outlet right here on the grounds of Heart to Heart International Ministries. My business partners, you've asked, how can I partner with what the ministry is doing? Thank you so much for asking. Text HHIM to 54244. If you need more information, visit us at hymncity.org. That's hymncity.org. We appreciate your interest. We appreciate your support. And we appreciate your continued support. So join us as we move, as we are led by God. Because our vision is connecting the heart of man to the heart of God. So text HHIM 54244 right here to support and be a partner with Heart to Heart. Thank you and we love you. The Him Church is here for you. Every third Sunday, celebrate with us as we celebrate Family and Friends Day at the Heart. Start the day off right with our fast food service, 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Or join us for our morning worship experience, 11 a.m. Two services to choose from, both offering the power of the word and the love of Jesus in a mighty way. Every third Sunday, Family and Friends Day at the Heart, Hymn Church, 104 Berman Street, Monts Corner, South Carolina, 29461, www.hymncity.org. Family and Friends Day at the Heart, celebrate with us and enjoy a free meal. Free meal giveaways on every third Sunday. This is your invite. Join us for our Family and Friends Day at the Heart every third Sunday. The Hymn Church is here for you as we are connecting the heart of man to the heart of God.